When Michael Jordan was only 15, he was like every other kid in the gym who dreamed of becoming the greatest basketball player. But his dream was crushed when he was cut from the high school basketball team because he wasn't tall enough. The team needed someone taller, so his close friend got in. And Michael's name was not on the list. He was embarrassed and devastated from this decision, so he went home, closed the door, and cried for hours. But as it turns out, that rejection gave Michael Jordan the motivation and willpower to become the best. That rejection launched his successful basketball career. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. He spent his sophomore year as the star of the junior varsity team. And at the end of that basketball season, Jordan wanted so much to watch the other boys play, so he asked the coach if he could ride the bus with the team to the tournament. The coach agreed, but under one condition. He told me that the only way I could go in was to carry the players' uniforms. So that's what I did. I walked into the building carrying the uniforms for the players who had made the team. What made me feel the worst about that was that my parents had come to watch the tournament and when they saw me walking in carrying the uniforms, they thought I was being given a chance to play. That's what hurt me. They thought I was being given a chance, but I was just carrying the clothes for the others. But soon things started to change. The following summer, he grew four inches and trained harder than everyone else. Michael Jordan decided that nothing will stop him. He decided that failure and rejection won't discourage him and won't get in the way of his dream. Whenever I was working out and got tired and figured I ought to stop, I'd close my eyes and see that list in the locker room without my name on it. That usually got me going again. His hard work paid off. That year, he made the team and instantly became their best player. And as we know, Michael Jordan became one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He became a legend. His professional basketball career is really fascinating and one of a kind. It included six NBA championships, 14 All-Star games, two Olympic gold medals. His NBA records are unreachable. But failure was always a part of his life. Failure is part of everyone's life. And I know that it's painful. It feels like somebody punched you in the face. But Michael Jordan said, to learn to succeed, you must first learn to fail. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. If you're trying to achieve, there will be roadblocks. I've had them. Everybody has had them. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Failure always made me try harder the next time. It is easy to choose a path of anonymity and lead an empty life. But to strive hard and lead an impactful life, one needs a burning desire to realize dreams. Never say never, because limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. So, what's your story?